Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing, Aquarius? This is the late night energy reading. Thank you for being here. This can also, any time of the day that you watch this, it, time is fluid. Okay, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. But this is your late night energy reading. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. To new viewers, cross watchers, come on in, take what resonates, leave the rest for someone else, reverse the roles, how they fit in your life, okay? I don't know your life, so you're going to have to reverse the roles, how they fit in your life, Aquarius. I need you to stay with me. There are lessons, blessings, and confirmation in all my readings. Spirit, guys, God, I ask you to give me clarity, understanding. Most of all, I need your protection. All right, let's see what's in your energy, my beautiful Aquarius. Sis. Let's see what's going on in your energy. Well, thank you, Spirit, guys. Let's see what's going on in your energy. Success. You're shining like a diamond, Aquarius. You're shining your light. You are lit up, honey. A lot of success coming towards you. Balance. Not only are you uh, full of light, full of life, but you are balanced. You see the aura in your body? You are glowing. This is how people see you when they're looking at you. This is what you look like. Okay? Your vibration is rising and you are, your body, you're, you're in alignment you are balanced, okay? Definitely a lot, of, a lot of light is shining through you. Big transformation. Look at your hair blowing up in the wind. Definitely you are going through a major transformation. That's why you're so bright. That's why you're so light. Congratulations. I feel like you feel so good with this transformation. You feel good. You feel free, okay? Um, and you also acceptance of yourself. Okay, I feel like some of you, you know, with the acceptance, you know, shadow work, looking in the mirror, starting to love yourself, a lot of confidence, a lot of courage going on in your life, praying, meditating, all oh, major change, major change happening in your life, major transformation. And it's good because you're shining. You're shining like a diamond, Aquarius. I feel like with this success clarifying this, this uh, uh, acceptance is that you finally accept and love yourself. You finally see the beauty in you, inside of you, and that's a beautiful thing. Not only that, you have balance, you have courage. That means that you have so much confidence in yourself. You're standing up strong. Your back is not even, your back is in a different position. You're, you're arched up. Okay. You have a, you have that arch, that confidence in your back, your backbone. <laughs> it's what spirit guys is telling me. Uh, transformation, praying, manifesting. You prayed for this transformation, this change to take place in your life. And baby, you are doing it. You hear me? You are absolutely doing it. Spirit guides, God, whoever your higher self is saying, they saying they're so proud of you, Aquarius. So let's get some more energy here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. New beginning. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. New beginnings and the dragonfly came out. Aquarius. So some of you, you're going to either find out that you're pregnant or someone in the family is pregnant. And I also say universal energy brings you opportunities. Oh, excuse me, y'all. This is late when I'm taping this opportunities and possibilities so this also means with birth this is a new beginning you are on a new journey you and your you have stepped into a new beginning okay and you have dragonfly behind that which is all about good luck blessings success okay the dragonfly says move um it says Move, have confidence. I'm sorry, y'all. Have confidence during this time of great joy, renewal, and connection to spirit. So if you've been seeing dragonflies, that is letting you know that, baby, you are transforming, you're transitioning, you're, uh, you know, starting a new, new birth, new energy, new beginning, new, in just, just new you, okay? Dragonfly represents spiritual animals, which represents a lot of, a lot of, um, a lot of, a lot of 
a lot of confidence, a lot of joy, a lot of renewal. It, I, I feel like a lot of you feel renewed, you know, like, you know, after you take a hot shower and just, you know, after you done been, you know, been going through a lot of hard, a long, hard work day. And then you get in the shower and you wash and you bathe and you get out. You say, oh, I feel so refreshed. Now, that's what you're going through. That's the energy that you're in right now. That's the energy that you're in. So if you're seeing dragonflies, that is definitely a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy. And the star, this is your card, Aquarius. In the tarot deck, this is your star. And the card behind that is the food card. You're ready. You have been patient, okay? Let me, the star card, wish fulfillment, healing. A lot of healing, finally seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. It says, uh, Aquarius, hard times are over. Look forward to abundance of happiness, enthusiasm, and prosperity. You have done a lot of healing. You st We all still have a lot of healing to go. We never stop healing. But Spirit Guy said, you have done a lot of work on yourself. You ought to be proud of yourself. Look at the stars. This is Aquarius. This is the in the tarot deck. The star is Aquarius. You have learned how to pour into yourself. You have you have did a major transformation. You are in a new beginning birth. You birthing out new things and you are attracting abundance. You're actually on a different frequency, a higher frequency. Your vibration, you're shining. Your light that's on you is shining. People noticing you. People like whoa! It's something that has changed about you that people are seeing you like oh my goodness you just looking like a whole total different person is like you're shocking people and you're taking chances with the food card it's all about taking a risk you know starting a new beginning with your chin up and your chest out okay with your child with your dog with your whoever you start a new beginning of your life you're feeling refreshed you're feeling good about yourself congratulations congratulations Aquarius it says, um, it says, have the courage to embrace change, Aquarius. It says, take risk and be adventurous. You ready to take that leap of faith? You are ready like Freddie, baby. You are ready. You have been patient. You have been pouring down. You have been you have been pouring it to yourself, but spirit guides also say, okay, for some of you, you definitely have been patient with yourself, but also some of you, you need to start to practice more patience. This card is saying, slow down, change your attitude, Aquarius, and clear your mind. Okay. So I feel like that's the only thing maybe possibly that spirit guides is saying as far as, um, you've done a great job on healing. You just have to work on your patience. Being patient uh, with people around you, being patient with yourself, being just patient, clear your mind, change your attitude. It's right here. OK, that may be what you have to work on. OK, and I, I, I'm here to tell you that when you when you work on when you try to work on patience, that is the hardest thing to work on. You know, it's, it's having patience. But spirit guides want you to work on that. OK, want you to change your atti attitude and clear your mind. And, and how you do this is through meditation. Maybe you need to go more deeper into meditation uh, where you can start to be more patient with yourself or with other people that you interact with okay beautiful wow let's see what is in your energy energy aquarius spirit guys talk to me this is for aquarius did i i'm trying to see did i leave a card out let's see no i didn't leave i didn't leave a card out okay i'm just making sure honey i don't yeah tell me more okay it says create okay create is here Aquarius and it says you are being asked to create uh, with your uh, being asked to connect with your creative side in whatever way fits best feels best this part of you needs extra attention right now it needs to be re expressed in a bigger way so some of you 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 probably have all types of talent okay you're very talented you're very creative and spirit guides want you to step into that creativity whatever that means to you okay confirmation 
Spirit God is talking. Let me tell me more. Check in is here. Aquarius. So it says you're being, it says when you think about whatever it is that you're pondering, take a moment and check in with, with how you feel about it. It says, um, let's see how you feel about it. The, the, you feel do. Okay. Do you feel, I don't have my reading glasses on y'all. Do you feel lighter or heavier, Aquarius? Excited or filled or dread? Pay attention. Pay attention to your to your um, inner guidance. It's always so helpful. So, spirit guides want you to check in with yourself. Okay. Uh, when it says that, is it's like whatever you've been pondering, whatever you've been thinking about, whatever your consciousness or even your subconscious been thinking or what you've been drinking. How do you feel about when you're pondering about this situation? Do you feel lighter? Do you feel heavier? Do you feel dread? However, you feel spirit needs you to pay attention to your inner self. Okay. Check in with yourself on how you feel about a situation. That is that is how you navigate through your life. If you're not feeling good about whatever the situation you're in and you're pondering it and you're dreading it. Spirit guides need you to, you know, pay attention to your inner guidance. Okay. Because it's trying to tell you something. So that's when I feel as though that you have to go into meditation. You have to really start to do really go into your subconsciousness and start to really meditate and, and, um, clear your mind with the patient card, clear your mind. Some of you may have a problem with you. It's like, you know, wanting things the way you want things or, you know, how that go. But check in, check in with yourself sometimes, your inner guidance, how you feel about a situation. Most of all, spirit guides are saying, have faith, Aquarius, and keep going. You see that? Have faith and keep going, honey. That's the most important thing that if you get nothing else from this reading, have faith and keep going is what is important. Okay. So it says it's not always easy to have faith and trust that everything is going to be okay. Aquarius yet still, you must do exactly that because when you, when you have faith, your life will begin to flow in magical ways that you will never imagine were possible. You understand when you have faith, you open the doors up to your life. You open up uh, things to change and things to redirect when you have faith. You have you open up for things to come towards you when you have faith. You're allowing the universe, God, whoever your higher source is, to work it out and have faith that it's going to come to you when it's supposed to. That's why Spirit Guides God is saying you have to work on your patience when you're interacting, when you're being, you know, if some of you are being too hard on yourself. You have accomplished so much. You have transformed. You're going through a major transformation. You're, you're, you're glowing. You're looking good. Your confidence. You're accepting yourself. You're learning how to love yourself uh, and spirit guides want you to stop being so hard on yourself slow down meditate I feel like spirit guides want you to meditate a lot more like yoga yoga puts you into a deep state of mind of relieving stress of relieving those negative thinking those negative thoughts that may be surrounding your conscious mind okay and then you have keep going OK, keep going, keep climbing those ladders, keep going. Don't stop. OK, don't allow. Even if you have triggers, you ask God, spirit guides, I ask you, I know I'm having triggers. I ask you to remove these triggers. Help me to deal with these triggers, whatever it may be. Confirmation. It says um, it may feel as though you've been on a, on this path and journey for a long time. For so long, and you may even wonder if you're making any progress towards your dreams. This message is in loving reminder for you to keep going, Aquarius. You're almost there. So it may seem like this, this has been a long journey. And for some of you, it has been a very long journey. But it also feel like it seems like maybe you're not getting anywhere. And Spirit Guides, God said, you, are, you have come a long way and you are getting uh, you're you're getting somewhere spirit guys God is saying do not stop keep going okay have faith keep going uh, check in with yourself all right don't be hard on yourself learn how to be patient with yourself uh, even with other people okay oh my goodness 
This is a beautiful reading. Very beautiful reading. You got give, you got change is here at the bottom of the deck. So, you know, you have give. When you give, when you give, you receive. That's the bottom of the deck here. When you give, you receive. It says, one of the most feelings... One of the best feelings we can experience is given to others, Aquarius. When we when we do so, we will feel we feel lifted up in our lives, improve and our lives improve greatly because of someone else's happiness. Think of think of one way you can give to another today. So some of your spirit guides are saying you just don't know, you know, when you give, when you don't hold on tight to things and you give, you allow, you allow, you allow the universe to come back in and to come in your life and, and make your life just you, unbelievable. OK, so that's for some of you. So now we're going to see what your reading is talking about. Absolutely. Spirit guys, this is for Aquarius. Thank you. Yeah, you're right. You have your guard up, you're defensive, you're protecting your heart, your territory. You're protecting yourself. Okay? You only accepting true, true cups. You only accepting people with true feelings, real feelings towards you. You're not falling for anything anymore. You know, you have you have um you know, you have your the page of pentacles is here. OK, this page of Pentacles is telling me that someone is coming towards you to offer you a cup to you, Aquarius. This cup. Th now, this can mean several things. For some of you, this can be this can be some of you maybe getting a raise or a promotion. For some of you, this can be someone that's going to ask you out on a date. This is someone that is wanting to offer you a true cup. OK, it could be an earth sign which is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This person may be coming in that wants to offer you their cup. They have a lot to offer you. They have a lot going for themselves. But I see that you're in the defense mode, okay? You're defending your heart and your territory. But you also have the chariot card. That means that this person is coming towards you very soon. Okay, you have the work. Like I say, this could be a promotion. Okay, this you're working. You're not paying this any attention. You could have earth placements in your chart, uh, somewhere in your chart. Very heavy, Aquarius. But I feel like this offer that's coming towards you has something to do with work. And you're going to hear about this very soon, that may be a promotion. Or this could be someone on the job uh, that... Uh, that's on your job that wants to offer you a true cup that they like you. Maybe they want to take you out on a date. I'm also seeing that. Y'all see that? Can y'all see that? Yeah, somebody could be wanting to ask you out on a date as well with the Page of Pentacles here. That's for somebody. Tell me more, Spirit Guys, for Aquarius. Whoa, yeah. You got uh, you got wish fulfillment. Look at here. You got wish fulfillment. Some of you, you know, you're recovering, recovering from a lot of trauma in your past, a lot of hurt, a lot of pain, a lot of disappointment. You're recovering. But some of you have been single for a long time. OK, you've been single. This is a hermit. You may have Virgo heavy in your chart. If you have Virgo in your chart somewhere in your placements, check out Virgo's reading. You may resonate with Virgo's reading more than you do with your own sun sign, okay? But all your wishes that you've been waiting for, all your wishes is about to be granted, and you've been waiting for a while, a while, Aquarius, with your hand crossed. You've been waiting, maybe some of you have been waiting on this promotion for some years, and you're finally about to get a promotion. Some of you have been waiting on wish fulfillment, uh, maybe someone that's coming into your life, and you're ready for it. You've made a big, major transformation in your life. You have learned how to love yourself, pour into yourself. Uh, you're ready to take a risk. You're ready to take a, a leap of faith. It's something you've been praying about. If you've been praying about a real relationship to come towards you, that is going to come as well, okay? Your wishes is all granted. God is granting you your wishes, okay? Spirit guys, tell me more. Oh my goodness, oh, it's coming. Look at the card that fell down. The Ten of Pentacles, your soulmate, soulmate connection, lifelong partner. You've been praying about it. It's coming, he coming, she coming. Aquarius, you've been praying for this for a long time. Somebody is about to show up in your life. This is someone that 
Y'all going to create generational wealth together. This person may have a lot of money. They're going to share their world with you. This person could have two dogs, two cats, animals, okay? But this is, yeah, this is a union. This is, this is, I'm speechless. You're going to be speechless. Paraffin, success behind it. This person been watching you, Aquarius. This person's going to give you the world, honey. This person, oh, yeah, they, this person thinks very highly of you. Oh, my goodness, yes. This person looks at you. Oh, they know that this person also know you don't take no BS. But they're very passionate about you, Aquarius. Oh, justice. Oh, my goodness. Justice is in your favor, sweetheart, sir. Let me tell you something. This person is coming into your life to balance your life. This person coming into your life to give you the world. I just woke up. I just absolutely woke up. This person been watching you. They want you. You got the queen of wands in the reverse. This person wants you. They need you. You, yeah, they need you in their life. They want you in their life. They're going to get you. They're coming in justice. They also got a good beef jerk and some beaches too, honey. Uh, yeah, they got the beef jerk. Jerky, um, the beef jerky, yeah, they got that going on too, baby. But they know that you know you don't play. They know you don't play. Okay, this person know that you don't play. They moving slow. They see you. You looking good. Look here, but they, honey, it was moving slow, but they ain't no more. I be surprised. Don't be surprised, Aquarius. Somebody about to come into your inbox. Somebody is about to reach out to you very, very soon. They're going to ask you out. Baby, they done got the courage up. And baby, let me tell you something. They ain't playing. They see you. They coming to get you. This person, yeah, they're going to give you the world. Everything you ask for, anything you were asked for, they're going to give it to you. You ain't going to have to worry about this person. Yeah, they're coming in with their cups, their emotions, and all. I don't know who this for, but I feel like somebody just woke up. I feel like you just woke up. I feel like you was dozing off for a minute. And then, because I, you know, then all of a sudden, boom, the Ten of Pentacles fell out. Some of you about to get some money in the justice system. No more feeling left out in the cold from, from different relationships. No more feeling left out in the cold, people not being reciprocal. No more lift, feeling left out in the cold from people that don't walk away from you or you don't walk away from people. It ain't happening. Mm -mm. Because of the patience. Look at that. Things are going to change very fast in your life. You have dealt with in and out energy, hot, cold energy, selfish relationships. But look at here. You, here you go, Aquarius. Look at that. You have healed, poured a lot into yourself. The star card. Mm -hmm. You have dealt with manipulation. You have dealt with a lot of people or relationships that just didn't pan out. But honey, let me, let me set the cards down. This person watching you, they was moving slow. Okay, with the Knight of Pentacles, they was moving slow when they seen you at first. Then they say they don't gain no confidence. So that means that they don't speed it up. You about to hear from this person the next day or two. They don't speed it up. They coming towards you. You're going to find out. You're going to know. I need you to say this to your to your uh, favorites. And I need you to come back to this. This person thinks very highly of you. And uh, this person going to give you confirmation. You heard my phone over there ring. This person is going to give you. The world, Aquarius. Get ready, baby. <laughs> you did the work. You did the work on yourself. You raised your vibration, your energy. You transfer. You trans. You're a big, major transformation in you. Honey, let me tell you something. Happiness. No more feeling left out in the cold. People turning their back on you. Relationships turning their back on you. All your wishes is about to come true. You may even get pregnant by this person. That's where the birth card came in at. Get ready, baby. Because of your transformation, you are... This person's coming in fast. They feel like if they don't come in, when they come in, they're going to lose out on you. Because, honey, you looking, you looking right out there. You see this? This is them. Knight of Wands is... Shh. Knight of Wands is shh. Yeah, that's the Knight of Wands. They coming to get you. This person coming to get you. This is somebody you could work with, or this somebody y'all gonna create so much wealth together, so much generation. You're gonna you're gonna be good for each other. You're gonna conquer a lot, a lot with each other. Oh, you've been waiting on this type of person. Yes, you have. You've been waiting on this person to come into your life. And I just seen an emperor, baby. Y'all going to be a powerhouse. Here go the communication. There goes the communication. There goes the communication. It's coming in in days, baby. It's coming in overnight. I feel like in the overnight time it's coming. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Stability. Your intuition. Stability. 
this person, yeah, let me tell you something, Aquarius. Honey, get ready. This person's coming in. You're going to hear it. You're going to hear it. There it is. You're going to hear the moon card in the reverse. You're going to learn. You're going to heal. You're going to hear. <laughs> I say you're going to heal. You're about to find out who this person is, baby. This is a king. This is a king of swords. This person is very intelligent. This person may like the outdoors. This person is very smart, very wise, okay? This person thinks about things. They are very analytical, okay? They're very, they analyze things. They they, they use their the head over their heart before they jump in. But this is a very loving person. This person wants stability with you. Look at them. They're pondering. They're wondering, oh, you're going to have to make a decision. You gonna? But this, this person coming in to relieve your stress. Yeah, this person coming in to relieve. You manifested this. You prayed for this, honey. I don't know who you are, but you prayed for this. They prayed for you. Y'all prayed for each other. Yeah, they, definitely it's getting ready to happen. Look at that. Destiny. Look at that. No more looking back on how somebody treated you, why those cups did not work, or why they deceived you. Because, honey, you got blessings right behind you. Lift your head up and look straight ahead. Keep your head up. Head to the sky. You can win as long as you keep your head to the sky. You can win. Don't worry about it. Because God, spirit guides, whoever your highest source is about to bring in the person. That's for you. 11, 11, baby. Y'all going to conquer so much together. Get ready. They're coming in. When I tell you this person coming in, you ain't going to see this coming. That's how fast they coming. As long as you keep your head to the sky, you can win. I'm Positive Thoughts, the Energy. This has been your nighttime energy reading. Until next time.